Well, I will show you how to use Gaussian to optimize the structure of ammonia Gauss view close click carbon 6 you will see a periodic table click nitrogen and first we'll do a trigonal pyramidal structure calculate set up optimization the method should be semi-empirical and PM6 is one of the semi-empirical methods it's the default we will use PM6 submit save NH3 um, the file name is NH3 trigonal pyramidal dot GJF Gaussian job file save okay There are two output files. We'll open the CHK file. Click results summary. The energy is negative 0 0.005 atomic unit. One atomic unit equals 2625.5 kilojoule per mole. Dipole moment is 2.25 dBi. To measure the bond distance between nitrogen and any one hydrogen atom, just click these two atoms and move the mouse away from the atoms, and you will see this bond distance equals 1.00559 angstrom. To get the bond distance, click anywhere on the screen and then click the three atoms you're interested in. The bond angle is 107.759 degrees. To get the dihedral angle between two planes, you can click three atoms, which defines the first plane. And then uh, two, three, four defines a second plane. The angle between the two planes is 100 16 degrees. Now we're done with the trigonal pyramidal structure. Let's make a new structure of ammonia. Click the periodic table and then if you click nitrogen there's no trigonal planner. So I will choose a different element with more options. In most cases this bromine or this sulfur will serve the purpose. So I'm going to use bromine. Over here I see there's a trigonal planner. And then I need to replace the bromine atom with a nitrogen atom. Find nitrogen. Click the nitrogen atom. Replace bromine. Now you have a planar structure of ammonia. Remember, the optimization calculation will never break the symmetry of the initial structure. So if the initial structure is planar, then the final structure will also be planar. Calculate, set up. The job type, again, is optimization. The method is semi-empirical, PM6, submit, save. The file name is NH3, Trigno Planner. Yes, now we look at the energy. Open the CHK file. All right, this is one of the two output files. And you can see the final structure, it's still planner. And then we can look at re the results summary. Uh, the total energy now is positive. 
0.0044 atomic unit. Again, one atomic unit equals 2,625.5 kilojoule per mole. The dipole moment is zero dB. That means this is a nonpolar structure.